monetary value is one thing, but what we use it for is probably more valuable. A local church pastor says thieves stole something he used to help fight hunger in his community. Thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Christine Galvan. And I'm Tony Velasquez Jr. Oscar and Dina are off tonight. The pastor says those thieves took off with a barbecue pit and trailer. Those items crucial in the church's effort to get food to those who need it. Channel 5's Monica De Anda joins us live outside that far church tonight. Monica, how did this happen? Good evening, Christine and Tony. Uh, the pastor here at Center Church believes that bolt cutters like these may have been used by the two people seen taking their equipment to get into this chained fence area. Once inside, the thieves took off with their equipment, equipment that they need to feed thousands of families in our community every month. So this is the lock that and the song where they popped it. Clark Ortiz, the senior pastor at Center Church, says surveillance cameras captured these two men walking around their chained equipment area late Monday night. But they didn't realize they'd been burglarized until yesterday. We saw on Tuesday, Wednesday that that some of the equipment was was not here, but typically that, that would be done because we're someone in the ministry may be serving the community. When going through the church cameras, they saw this black SUV reverse into this area. First, the suspects are seen loading the barbecue pit, driving off with it minutes later, but they didn't stop there. Then they left for about uh, about 40 minutes and they came right back and they picked up the trailer. Pastor Ortiz says it's not any monetary loss that hurts the most, but rather the effect that it's going to have on their efforts to feed families in the community who are hungry. Every month, Center Church provides groceries to over 5,000 families. We usually would have these completely full, but we weren't able to fill them up because lack of having that, that trailer. So we were limited on the amount of people that we could serve this yesterday. Without the trailer, they won't be able to pick up the produce or other shipments of food, a challenge that's very real for this church, which is why they're asking whoever took the items to bring them back. If anybody sees or knows, and if they realize what they have done, you know, it, we want to be able to provide them full amnesty, that they can come, they can bring it, drop it off, and, and we, no harm, no foul. We won't we'll press any charges or anything. We'll, we'll just love them and embrace them. And Pastor Ortiz says right now their top priority is to try to figure out how to keep feeding the community without the stolen items. We did reach out to FAR PD who says they are investigating and ask anyone with information to call uh, at 956-402-4700. In FAR, Monica De Anda, Channel 5 News at 6.